So this episode, we're going to be talking about what feelings to expect when you are expecting. Hey guys, and welcome to Mr. And the Mrs. This is about the uh, uh, emotions that you would expect as parents. Jesse is actually due in about four and a half weeks four weeks or so so not even four ve- and a half yeah four. very very excited but at the same time there's other emotions that we're experiencing so we're going to be talking about uh just the emotions what uh expecting parents can experience and the normal ones um one of the major ones that i'm experiencing is excitement i'm excited for a newborn and to be a dad but at the same time i'm scared I'm very, very scared because I don't know if I'm going to be a good dad. And you've really never changed a poopy diaper. And Especially a yeah. newborn diaper. He's never changed a newborn diaper. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm going to have like the gas mask and the gloves on. No, I'll be <laughs> fine. Um, but so, I mean. Well, hopefully. Yeah, it's also like, am I going to be able to take care of the child, such as changing the diaper, feeding the baby and stuff. Um, but, I mean, I'm also nervous. It's kind of. You're, it's a new stage. It's like going on a new stage of life. And so, very, very intimidating. Or as mine, I'm I'm excited, but I'm like, it's more of like, I know it's going to be hard, so I'm more of trying to like prepare myself. Like, I know they always say, you know, you never really can prepare yourself to be a mom. Or, you know, a parent in general. But I am very nervous very scared just you know the fact that being up all night with the baby I'm just praying that I have enough milk supply so that I can at least pump so that I can you know have like one or two feedings have Christian do them Um, but if not that's okay it's you know it's going to be one of those stressful times, but, you know, very rewarding, which I'm excited. I'm really excited for the, the rewarding part and just being able to see the baby smile and, you know, actually be able to feel and just touch the baby outside of my stomach. <laughs> yes, I will actually be able to hold instead of yes. you hogging the baby. The yeah, I'm, I'm kind of baby hogging right now. Baby hog. So I did some research on what new expecting parents uh, other people have experienced. Other ones are fear. People are uh, afraid that they might lose their individualism. It's kind of normal, but don't fear or don't fret. You're not going to. Well, I feel like a lot of people are afraid to, you know, lose who they are because they're not willing to let other people help. Yes. They think that, oh, because I'm the mom, I should be with my baby 24-7 and not have anyone else watch my kids. Don't be a helicopter parent. Yes. Um, like so, that, that's one of the biggest things yeah. I would say is we could don't be a helicopter parent. I mean, for some people it's good. And you know, yeah. for some children, they need that. As being a helicopter parent, it's, it's a lot harder for you because you're constantly just, you know, just trying to be around your baby or your kid the whole entire time and feeling like that you need control there every day to day, every minute by minute, you know, what they do and but you, I mean, you that's where you would lose yourself that's where you yeah, would lose your individualism anybody would i mean there's a saying that says uh it takes a village to raise a child and that we've seen that and it's completely true it no, doesn't definitely it, it takes fa- family and friends it takes more than one person or two people to even raise a child mm-hmm. it really does um other feelings that people get is anticipation they're anticipating to have this child to to start their new life, and I would say I have a little bit of anticipation. I'm I'm ready for that moment. Um, I'm just more I would say anxiety and stressed, which is probably one of the worst emotions you can have while being pregnant. you're pregnant yeah. because it's not good for the baby. It's not good for you. Um, I've definitely been dealing a ton of stress just trying to get the house ready, and I mean literally we have. Our gutters are falling down, and it's starting to rain, and it's fall here, so it's, you know, it's just kind of a little overwhelming sometimes. We did get a project halfway done today. It We're looks gonna finish really it. good. We're going to finish it hopefully this weekend. Yeah. 
and hopefully get the gutters done this weekend. That's, hopefully. That's hopefully. on the list. Yes. We have we have some of the fascia, which we were telling that uh, you guys earlier that we got some. We have it all cut, and we're going to paint it tomorrow, so hopefully we'll be able to get it up mm-hmm. on Saturday. And so we actually, in the kitchen today, we got the tile put in and yes. then set it. And it, We're waiting for that to be all done. Yes, so that's just setting right now, and mm-hmm. that takes about 24 hours. So we'll be grouting it hopefully either tomorrow night or Saturday morning. I can grout while they're working on the, the fascia. Mm-hmm. So I'm so, just so excited about yeah. that. And as you see, like, when we're trying to nest and get these projects done, it seems like you're getting less less stress and well i'm getting less stress because i'm getting more stuff done done yeah and i've been able to you know take some stuff back from the baby shower and able to get like you know some essential stuff that i didn't get which was really stressing me out like a bobby nursing pillow yeah and we we had to get a lot of like medium big things but jesse has found a lot of clearances so good job um ebay ebay (laughs) Jesse did mention earlier, like, anxiety. She's feeling anxiety. A lot of people and a lot of parents will feel anxiety because uh, they don't know if they're going to be able to. Well, it's just, it's just yeah. not knowing what's to come. What to come. They will don't They don't what know. What to expect. It's, it's yeah. hard for humans in general to cope with things yeah. you don't know what's it's coming. It's like you know? a, new, a new world. Well, yeah. It's a, a whole new. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. <laughs> a whole new world yeah. interrupted my brain thought. <laughs> you don't know what to expect. You don't know if you're going to be able to afford it. It's just this oh, new yes. realm. It's a new realm, and it's also, you know, it's it's a whole different uh, way of thinking because, you know, when you're just newlyweds and stuff like that, it's about you two. Yeah. It's about, you know, working on your marriage, working, doing things you both love doing, going on dates and stuff like that, and then when you have a baby, it's, it's about the baby. It's yeah. about taking care and being responsible for this brand new life. But don't forget to go on on uh, yes. dates we'll have to actually remind ourselves that so we can go on dates at least on a weekly basis yep. instead of being like stressed and overwhelmed but i mean those are a lot of feelings that we're feeling currently and mm-hmm. i'm sure a lot of new we'll keep you updated yeah. once the baby has come to on yeah. how how our emotions and stuff are you know, coming, coming to along. play and yeah. coming along yeah so i mean that's like our emotions and i'm sure a lot of uh, expecting parents are feeling the same thing. Uh, or even if you've already had parents, yeah. you've already had kids, you yeah. know? So go ahead and uh, drop us a comment down below to let us know, like, some of the other feelings that you may have experienced. Maybe you- Or if you if you have, if you've dealt with fear or stress. Yeah. Let us um, know how you got over that. Yes. That would <laughs> that would be greatly appreciated. That would help us and that would help <laughs> others uh, in, the, in the future. So thank you for watching and Please uh, subscribe to our channel for future posts that will be coming, and we'll see you later. Bye. Integrity is the essence of everything successful. Truth. A friend is a present you give yourself. I want friends. Who wants to be our friends? Things and have fun. Unless they're halfway around the country.